my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to your soulmate reading. So Capricorn, I skipped many signs because I intuit intuitively I felt like I had to bring you a message today. Okay, so it happens a lot on this channel. I can't really follow uh, a particular schedule because my intuition is guiding me to do this message, literally. Okay, so Capricorn, as always, please, if you don't connect to this message, don't take it personal. Don't be offended. It's completely normal since I'm talking to a collective, okay? Uh, and if you do relate to the message, please like this video. Also be aware of the scammers. I don't offer personal readings right now, but I see a lot of scammers pretending to be me in the comments. I guess it's because the channel is growing, okay? So <laughs> trying to stay positive about this. Thank you for your support, Capricorn. Okay, let's see what message needs to come through today for you. Okay, we have... Your energy that came out at the end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? So you've been through a lot, Capricorn. Intuitively, I felt like some of you were going to have news from the past. News from a past person that you might not really want to get news from. But I really, I tell you, my intuition was kind of crazy. A new romantic cycle begins, okay? So even if you are in a current relationship, this could be it. This could be this could be you transforming and feeling like you could bring something new into the relationship, also your partner. And if you're single, you might meet someone new, okay? But you definitely have to release the past. Definitely. Remember, we are in Gemini season. Gemini season is not easy. We are in our head a lot. Also, there's the retrograde right now. A lot of people are scared of the retrograde. I feel like it's a good time to try to pause, okay? If you are comfortable with writing, try to um, start writing every day, okay? Maybe, you know, journal a little bit, trying to get these thoughts out of you, okay? So let's see with my intuition, what was happening, okay, with me today. Tell me what's happening for Capricorn with their soulmate. Okay. We have judgment, three of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and six of cups. So a lot of freaking card came out. Judgment is a really intense energy, especially when it comes to love, okay? I had a feeling that you were at crossroad. Uh, so some of you might be feeling like definitely recently you transform, okay? There is a lot of healing that happened within your life, within your relationship. I feel like it's really personal, to be honest. And some of you are going to have these feelings and these thoughts of, I don't feel like anyone understands what I'm going through. Not even your partner, okay? Even if you have a great partner that is present for you. I had a feeling that some of you were feeling incredibly alone. Um, but not physically alone necessarily. It's like people don't really understand what you're going through, but you're changing. You're changing. Uh, and I think people around you are noticing the change. So it could be physical change, definitely. But there's something happening in your mind, Capricorn. It's like you'll never be the same. Ten of Pentacle and Three of Pentacle. Confirming that people are noticing around you the changes that you're making. And Ten of Pentacle, okay? The goal here is long-term stability and happiness. So I, I was really feeling like there was something about your body, about your physical life, about yourself, okay, that is going through a lot of change that will be impacting your whole future, okay? Therefore, your stability, your love life. Um, I think that you've been a little bit blocked in a way that you don't really want to communicate or don't feel comfortable or don't really know how to communicate what you're going through right now. I feel exhausted. My intuition right now is telling me that someone is exhausted, okay? Um, trying to work 
towards a goal and feeling like the people around you, again, they don't really get what you're going through. It's a lot. I'm going to be honest. It's a lot. I'm feeling like someone has a lot of weight on their shoulders. Okay. Give me two more for Capricorn. Do you guys feel my energy? I feel like really heavy and there's like a weight on my heart. It's weird. Intuitively, I'm feeling like I'm talking to a Capricorn who is in love, has someone in their life. Or is either, you know, talking to someone. There is someone on your mind. But it feels like the past, it comes in waves. It comes back in waves. And sometimes you you know that there's something that you need to deal with. But I think you're kind of scared or you don't really know. It's like the unknown is a little bit scary. Or you feel like it's not even worth it. You're like, why waste my time? But there's something from the past that needs healing. And I think that it's been following you for years, to be honest. And as you work on your body, on your mind, on your soul, going through these major transformation, you're feeling like this is still following you. It's, it's like catching up on you, okay? I'm feeling heavy. I just want to I just want to let you know Capricorn if you've been through loss if you've been through something difficult I see you I love you okay Queen of Pentacles So there's something about your stability something affecting um your home life okay Um this is also one of your power cards It it's weird because I'm I'm feeling really conflicted between I'm doing so great. I'm working towards a goal. I'm finding stability, happiness. I feel like I'm protected. Four of Wands is the 11-11 card. You're feeling that your guides, your angel, uh, your ancestor, whatever you believe in, is protecting you. You feel like you are born for greater things. You feel like you deserve more. But at the same time, you don't want to be ungrateful for the things that you have. I'm feeling incredibly conflicted. And these are really beautiful and happy cards. I'm feeling intuitively like someone is saying, I know I have it all. I know I'm lucky to have what I have and I don't want to be ungrateful. But I want more. I deserve more. And I think that definitely the Capricorn that needs to hear this message is feeling like life has given them just enough so you're okay but it's not enough it I'm feeling like you are scared of asking for more of wanting more you're not ungrateful because you want more okay you deserve it but there is someone listening to this right now trust me because i'm feeling these i have goosebumps i'm feeling weak someone is ashamed because they want more really particular message really heavy message i'm sorry okay let's try to <laughs> let's try to get my energy back um these are really powerful messages these are beautiful cards, a lot of healing, being at crossroad, reaching for uh, stability long term, like I said. People notice the change within you. Uh, and I, change, I think you're changing really fast, to be honest. It feels like you were stuck in the same routine, same energy for a while. And now things are evolving pretty fast. And it's all because of you, Cap. It's all because of your hard work, your de determination, literally. Um, and this feeling of being, uh, this energy of too much of heaviness, it will be ending soon. You will be closing a cycle when it comes to heaviness, to uh, finding comfort, okay? I think you're going through a little bit of an, uh, in comfort. But I'm, I'm going to be honest. I feel like Capricorn, you guys always go through a lot. You guys always go through a lot. 
And I feel like because you are so strong, people are always asking for your help, always asking for your time. And I don't feel like people give you enough time and energy because they see you as this strong person who doesn't need help from others. And let's be honest, Cap, you're not going to ask help by yourself. You're so independent. The most independent sign by far, in my opinion. Um, let's start clarifying, my love, okay? If you're still watching, I love you. Three of Cups, okay? There is something on your heart, again, from the past. It feels like there is unfinished business with a past lover, um... It could be the father of your children. It doesn't have to. Someone who, who you had a really serious commitment to in the past. Maybe you guys were fighting for years. Maybe you guys just ghosted each other, didn't talk for a while. You're feeling now as you are transforming yourself and working on yourself, there is something that you need to tell this person. Or you also feel like you need to hear something from them. I'm going to be honest, someone owe you an apology. I seriously have tears in my eyes right now saying that this is really powerful message coming in for me. I don't know what's happening for me today. Someone owe you an apology. Someone did you wrong. They took you for granted. I feel like it's the past. I feel like this person isn't really available spiritually to receive the things that you have to say to them. So, you know, in the beginning, I was telling you, it's time to start journaling. I feel like by writing down the things that you need to say to that person, it will be, it would be uh, just a huge step in your spiritual journey, to be honest, okay? Um, someone definitely owe you an apology, and I feel like you kind of gave up on that, even if you know that you deserve that shit. Okay, you are worthy of people apologizing for what they did to you. And I know in my soul right now, Capricorn, and I swear I have tears in my eyes right now. It's like you, f you don't know that you had nothing to do in that situation. It's not you. You did nothing wrong, Capricorn. You tried your best. You did the best you can and it wasn't enough for that person and they don't see that. You, I think you were dealing with someone who is incredibly selfish, uh, maybe a liar, someone who they never saw your real value. And even if it's been years and years, they owe you a freaking apology. And it's like... They have no idea how, how it would have an impact on your whole future, on your whole self-esteem to be able to close this cycle. For some of you, the cycle is going to be closing. I feel like this person might be coming, reaching out, coming through. Even if you feel like it's impossible. Even if you feel like, oh shit, this person is never going to come and tell me, trust me, I'm never going to get an apology. This person is just long gone. For some of you, there's someone from the past who will be coming in to apologize, okay? I'm feeling it. I'm serious. It's something that you've been waiting for for years, and it's something that you deserve. Six of Cups. Page of Sword. <laughs> exactly when I was telling you that this person was coming in, okay? Out of the blue after years and years of you waiting. This Page of Swords is kind of... I was saying in my head, like, if the Page of Sword comes out, we have our confirmation, okay? A message coming through out of the blue, having an impact on your whole future, on your self-esteem. Uh, someone is, is coming in to apologize because they did you wrong. They have no idea how they completely messed you up at one point. And you kept your head up. You are a fighter. And even if you couldn't close the cycle, well, you moved on with your freaking life, okay? And you're still here today. 
with me right now in the present moment, listening to this reading and practicing self-care, taking a moment for you to reflect on your own life, on your own spirituality. And this is big. You never gave up on yourself. And that no one can take that away from you, Capricorn. No one. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Okay. So literally you getting that closure. Okay. And again, if that person isn't coming through, you're going to close the cycle yourself. You're going to close the cycle spiritually by yourself. Okay. Um, Queen of Cups is the deepest card when it comes to emotionality, confirming that you will be healing the deepest cut. You know, think about it. The moment in your life where you were hurt the most about a situation, where you thought that everything was over for you. Someone who literally broke your heart in a thousand pieces. This person that left a mark on your heart, okay? I don't know how, and even to me it seems kind of crazy, kind of not irrational, but just, you know, kind of impossible. I don't know why. But when this person comes in with a message, you will be shocked. You will be completely shocked because you stop believing in that. You stop believing that you will get closure one day, okay? Three of Pentacles. And I just want to say, because I feel like some of you are going to be like, I don't want this person to come in. I don't want an excuse. I don't want to hear anything from them. And I get that. And your feelings are valid. But it would be a gift emotionally, spiritually for, for you to hear what this person has to say. Not for them. We don't give a flying fuck about this person's feelings at this point. Trust me. It's not, it's not my goal here. You are not here to make them a better person. It is not your responsibility to make them a better man, a better woman. I don't care who this person is. It's for you. Do it for yourself. Another cycle closing. Getting release. Finally getting these answers. Not being in your head all the time and asking yourself, what happened? Do they still think about me? Why did they do that? Why, 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 why me? You're getting that release. Cycles are going to be closing. Because you were patient, because you were the bigger person, you kept your head up, and you deserve it, okay? God gracious, I feel like this, you know, if it's coming in a soulmate reading, it's because this is a lot more important than any fling, any relationship. It is something that you need to deal with. You have been putting this aside for long enough. And again, I'm not calling you out because it is not your fault. It's this other person who couldn't stand in their power and be a freaking man and tell you how they feel. Because they're ashamed. Because they fucked up. Okay? Because what they did, they can never take back. Damage has been done. But now, it's time for them to, again, we don't give a shit about this person's feeling. I'm sorry, it's not my business. It's really for you. It's really for you. Queen of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. This is the second time that the Four of Wands come in. Confirming that you are protected. Someone heard your prayers. I don't care if you believe in God or you don't. I don't care. I don't care if you believe in nothing. Someone heard your prayers, okay? Someone is protecting you. You definitely have strong guides. Always in Capricorn readings, I'm feeling strong guides. Uh, angels always protecting you, hearing your prayers. Um, if you've been writing really specific uh, message for people who've been journaling. It's like someone heard what you said. And if you never did that, if you never journaled, it is time to start today. Trust me. Do it one time. What do you have to lose? Do it one time. Trust me. 
And if it feels uncomfortable, burn that shit. Write a letter to someone and burn it. If you've never done that, Capricorn, trust me, take the time today and do that. This is the, you know, a lot of people ask me, what rituals should I do? How do we practice, uh, you know, magic rituals? The strongest thing you can do in any type of magic is writing a letter to someone, which who you have unfinished business with, and burning that shit. This is how you released energy from the past. Trust me. I know it sounds cuckoo. I know sometimes we don't want to take the time and we don't want to face these things. We prefer locking them inside and never looking back at them again. But it will be coming back always. The cycle was never closed. Do that for yourself. Close that shit. Four of Wands. Two of Cups. You are worthy of love. You definitely have people who support you and love you around you, soulmate or not. But at the end of the day, Capricorn, you are your own soulmate. And deep down, you know that. Okay? Really powerful message today came through. You're about to get an apology. Be ready. Okay? Um... You decide if it's in alignment with you. You decide if you want to hear what this person has to say. Capricorn, I love you so much. You will never know how much I love you. I say it a lot. My two mother figures are Capricorns. My mom and my stepmom. The two most important women in my life. I am deeply attached to Capricorn. I... I'm just in awe with your strength. You inspire me every day in my work, in my day-to-day -day life. And I just hope this message serves someone. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this message. Please take time for yourself. Please put yourself first, even if it's the hardest freaking thing you've ever done. Okay? I'm here for you and I love you. Bye, Capricorn.